Hey guys, welcome to Cool Toys. I'm Scott, and if you haven't seen the show before, this is the show where we look for all the cool stuff your wife probably doesn't want you to have. We hide a lot of things in the warehouse. We hide a lot of things here in the Cool Toys studio, like four surfboards sitting right behind me. Now, most of the crew surfs. I want to show you something real quick. This is my bicycle, and I do ride it to the beach with that surfboard, and you'll notice it's the fig that is right behind me. So I do spend a lot of time in the water. And a couple of hot summer days went by last year and the uh, wax melted on the way to the beach. Totally ruined my surfing experience for the day. Had to redo the board and a complete mess if you've ever had to do that. And you know that wax will melt and drip inside your car if you carry your board in your car. And sometimes even in the uh, silver covered um, surfboard covers, they'll still melt a little bit on the inside and get sticky. And the socks that I use, they do get really sticky. Um, I like the socks better because I want the board to breathe. Now... All of that comes down to a couple of things. What do you do instead of surfboard wax? And if you Google surfboard wax replacement, there's a whole lot of different things that come up. We did a lot of digging and we found six different brands of surfboard wax replacement, legitimate ways to not use wax in your surfboard. And we narrowed it down to three and I'm gonna show you all three of those. They're on the boards right behind me. So I'm gonna show you something a little funny though. Of the three brands that we chose, one of them I actually sent off to somebody else and that brown fig right there ended up getting a couple of adjustments because he doesn't wear booties and he didn't like the completely waxless traction. So he had a little wax on the edge and he added a little foam pad in a couple of different places. I wear booties every day. We have stingrays here in Southern California and I don't know if it protects you. I think it does, um, but maybe it doesn't. I just like wearing booties now. So I've got the little um, booties that have the split toe and I like them a lot and I surf them every day here. Now in Hawaii, of course, I didn't do that. So it's a little different experience and the boards in Hawaii do have wax on them. So I haven't converted them yet and I'm not traveling to Hawaii as much. So this is what I got. So let's take a look at each of these four boards real quick and let me go through them and we'll talk about what's cool and what's different. And then let me show you how this went on. In fact, first let me cut and show you this little fast video of how the hex attraction went on. That's uh, one of the boards there, the Bruce Jones, that the hex attraction is going on. And you see it goes on rather quickly once you get the design started. Now I put that on pretty fast actually. It took about 20 minutes and that was a board that had wax on it. So I had to take it out, de-wax it. I used Goo Gone first and then uh, used an alcohol-based glass cleaner to get the Goo Gone off so the, the hex attraction could actually stick. I have seen the Magic Pickle. Don't know if it works. Nobody sent us one and we haven't had the time to go buy one. So we can't tell you if that's a cool toy or not. But in our test of cool toys looking for a option, we found three that mattered. Uh, one is called Hex Attraction. That's the one that you see right there on that Bruce Jones board. And we'll get close up with that in just a second. The second one is called Verse Attraction. And they now make some smaller patterns like the Hex Attraction that we do like a lot that we don't have yet. But uh, we've had some good experience with it, and I do like Verse Attraction, and I'll talk about each of them, why I like them as we go through it. Finally, we have the Israeli one, which looks like little stripes, and I'll get you a close-up of that, but it ends up looking just like the little stripes you put in your bathtub. So, you know, maybe you could go out and buy those crazy flowers at Walmart that have the uh, bathtub no-slip grip and get away with it on a surfboard. I don't know. I've never tried it, but that wasn't what we were after. Uh, we wanted stuff legitimately designed specifically for surfboard wax replacement. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at these in the order that I set them up and surfed them. And first is the green and yellow fig, the one that you saw on my bicycle. You notice at the top, there's a little bit of a boomerang. When I first looked at the Verse Attraction package, it comes complete and cut ready for a specific surfboard. You buy a longboard kit or a shortboard kit. And neither of them really fit this fig. This one is seven feet six and it just didn't work as well as I'd wanted it to. So I went to the factory, which happens to be located quite close to us here, and had them sell me a six foot by four foot sheet and cut this myself. So you see that little boomerang at the front? I did that on purpose to give me a thumb grab when I'm doing my push up to get into the wave. Really cool kind of way to do it, but really difficult to do because you can't buy it off the shelf this way. So not a way to go. Now as we move over to the uh, kind of wood covered fig that is a fish. This is a six foot 10 fish. It's a little long for most fishes, a little wide, floats just like the other one. A lot more speed and a lot of fun. Now you notice these two pads right here on the side. Those two pads are because I sold this board to someone else. When I first got it, I couldn't ride it, I didn't have the skill. 
And you can see the verse attraction is the sheets, the way that they come from the factory in those big pre-cut areas that cover most of the board, which makes it a little hard to put on if your board's got a lot of curve to it. And I did have to trim these to make it match the wood lining. Now, those two right there are so that you can stand up. That's your push-up points. And there's a little wax in front of them, if you notice, because that doesn't quite end up being where it is. And I'm also guessing that the guy I sold it to fell off. I did end up buying it back because he didn't really like surfing this board either, and I thought I had the skill to do it. And you see all the way at the bottom, he's got some more wax on top of the verse attraction, and he's got a bunch more of the little traction pad strips cut on there. I'll probably end up taking it off. Honestly, this board has become one of my favorites now that I've learned to surf it, and it's just been an absolute blast. So both of these are verse attraction, semi-custom on this one, custom cut on the other fig. They're my two main surfboards, but on days less than two feet, they don't cut it, so I had to get something longer. And that brings us to the Turbo Banana. So this is the Turbo Banana, and 10 foot plus board. Great on very short days. It's got a lot of speed and a lot of go. And you'll notice going down the border, just this series of little stripes. It does work quite well. It doesn't have any way to adjust the length though. So I could have cut them in the middle, I guess, and spread them out. But it does make the edges a hair slippery. So I do have to be patient and cognizant when I'm surfing this board. And I did put tail pads on the back for a lot of reasons. I like tail pads just because it makes it easier for me to lay it on the ground when I'm done. And you'll notice or you might have noticed actually on the green fig that I had a um, nose guard on it, which I do plan to also put on the final board that I'll show you here in a second. But anyway, you can see this. It looks like something that belongs in the bottom of your bathtub. And that's why I kind of joke that maybe you could get the uh, little flower stickers at Walmart and pull off the same thing. But that's it. It is a fun board and it does work. We haven't peeled this off just because it does work. It was the least expensive and the easiest to ship, although it took the longest because it does come from Israel. So uh, overall good traction. If you look at it closely, you'll see the dimples and I'll go to each of them up close and personal here in just a second. So you can see how each of them looks in their texture. But let's get to the last one, the hex attraction. So this is hex attraction. It's hexagonally shaped and you just stick it on and you'll notice there's some half hexagons that go to the edge of the board so and i put right here i left the whole hexagon on so that i could wrap the board and have this piece coming around like this so that i've got a place to grab when i'm pushing up to get into the wave and you'll notice that also i finished the design going to the top to a single piece and i left a bunch of open space and there's the gopro mount that you'll see in this so let me show you how each of these surf and then let me show you the texture in between. So this is the uh, Bruce Jones out in the water just recently. And it's a great board, had a lot of fun on it. It's, it is actually my favorite board, but since Mr. Jones died, I've been a lot more careful with this board and not wanting to damage it because it is a Clark foam and it is a rare board. So I'm a little more careful. Now that we've surfed it, let's take in and look at the little hexagons inside of the big hexagon. So that's the texture of the board. Very cool, very different. So now here's the uh, green fig, and you'll notice there's again a mount on it. Um, very simple, easy to go, and you'll see it runs around quite fine. So here's, um, and, and it's just a lot of fun board uh, that I get to surf all the time. So here's the, the texture up close on the verse attraction. So it's a little different and one of the things that i'll tell you is it's just slippery enough if you need to adjust where you are on the board your center of gravity as you're pushing up you can do it where the hex attraction because it is stickier and it's got a little bit of a rough texture inside those micro hexagons that it it does stick and it will prevent you from moving too quickly so and we'll look again here's the hex attraction or first attraction rather again on the wood look and we'll see how close I can get this camera in here. And look at that, you can see the texture really nicely on the wood. And that's what gives you the traction. All those little teeny channels get the water away from your feet and give you a way to stick onto it. So this board's a lot of fun. I don't have any video of it out in the water. And the only big one I've got is if we take out uh, what I call big blue. So you'll see me surfing on that a couple of times here. So now we finally get back to this one. If you look at it, it's dimply, kind of crystally. And it looks very much, again, like what you'd see in the bottom of a bathtub. It's kind of a bizarre look. It works, and in the water it's pretty clear, so it doesn't, um, 
you know, doesn't take away from the look of the board. Like wax can look really messy. So you get to keep the style of the board with all three of these. And that's one of the things that we like. Now, real quick, a couple of things. The, the hex attraction is a little bit rough. So you do stick when you're trying to slide around or push up on the board, but it does help you stick when you're trying to cut a wave. The first attraction has got a little bit more of a loose grip so that you can actually move on the board if you got in the wrong position as you start paddling into the wave. What I really like about all three of these is that you don't take away from the look of the board. I mean, look how nice this Bruce Jones looks, even in the hex attraction, the fig, the wood fig, all of them keep their original style. Now, obviously the turbo banana is just a white board, so it doesn't really matter that much. But if you go buy a cool looking board like this rock and fig or this Bruce Jones, you do want to show it off and wax doesn't let you do that. So let's uh, take a look here at one of them surfing. And obviously I surf all of these boards, so it, uh, it, it isn't something that I would ever go back to using wax. So there you have it. Hex Attraction gets the first place. Verse Attraction right there with it though, very close. You can buy both of them on our Cool Toys website through Amazon. If you find a better price, have at it. Uh, we like them, I like them. I'm gonna give them the Cool Toys stamp of approval. Doesn't get the Crew Toys Jeep dirty. Doesn't melt on the bike on the way to the beach in the summer. And you just, have a great product environmentally. So again, both of them cool toys winners. If you've got a cool toy, send it to us. Let's take a look at it and we'll have some fun. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time and thank you for watching. Hey, welcome to Cool Toys.